Hi guys, so today is day 7 of 30 days 30 con videos challenge and in this video we will talk about whether unemployment which is usually seen as harmful for a country can result in some positive outcomes for an economy. So here are 4 points that you can write in your essays to show that unemployment really isn't bad for an economy after all. The first point that you can say is that unemployment makes it easier for firms to find workers from a greater potential pool. This is because as there is more unemployment, there will be more workers chasing jobs, increasing the choice for firms to find the most suitable worker. As a consequence, firms are likely to pick the most productive and suitable workers for the firm, increasing productivity and long-term profitability. The second point that you can write is that unemployment allows workers a good amount of time in finding a suitable rewarding job for themselves. This is very important for both individuals and firms for productivity increases and happiness. So to an extent, some workers will feel happy being unemployed as it gives them more time and room to search for better jobs. The third point that you can write is that unemployment can help to keep inflation under control from both the demand and the supply side. This is because due to unemployment, as incomes are lower, there will be less consumer spending and thus lower levels of aggregate demand in the economy, keeping demand for inflation low and stable. This point particularly holds true, especially if the economy was already suffering from overheating itself. Once more, with higher levels of unemployment in the economy, the bargaining power of workers reduces, especially if they have been unemployed for a long period of time, keeping wage growth and thus cost push inflation under control. Now this is good for the governments as at least one of their macroeconomic objectives is likely to be met in times of high unemployment. The last point that you can write is that unemployment improves resource allocation in the sense that it can prompt workers and resources to move from declining industries to growing ones fostering innovation and productivity in the long term. That's all for day 7 guys. If you like this video, share it with your friends and let me know in the comments if this series is helping you. I'll see you all on day 8.